द किंगडम ऑफ के बॉक लगान इन द फार अवे किंगडम कोल्ड से रंगन दैट द टीम वाइज वाइफ बालोलिबोन वाज अबाउट टू गिव बर्थ इन ऑर्डर टू अर्न एनफ मनी टू सपोर्ट देयर फैमिली दैट द टीम वाइज थॉट ऑफ शार्पनिंग टूल्स इन द नेबरिंग विलेजेस माय लव यस व्हाट इज इट आई नीड टू गो टू द नेबरिंग विलेजेस एंड अर्न मनी टू सपोर्ट आवर चाइल्ड You can't go. Who will assist me in my labor? I have to go. Our child will have nothing to eat. I promise I will come back as soon as I can. Oh, okay. If you insist, be safe out there. During their journey, they met the Wata Peg de Rama, the goddess of wind, lightning, and thunder, who invited them into her abode, but they declined. Good evening, gentlemen. You must be tired. May I offer you my humble abode as a refuge? I appreciate the gesture, but I will have to refuse. Oh, is that so? Then you all must perish. The broken boat returned to Serangan, informing Balulibon of her husband's death, which made her cry copiously. She then gave birth to a healthy young male and named him the Ake. At the same time, Sakabandar's wife also gave birth to a boy and named him Tomitib. The Ake quickly grew up. At seven months, he cried loudly and asked about his father, which made him happy that he wasn't killed by anyone. He then went fishing with his father's hook and line, which he inherited. Using his magic, he got a lot of fish, making him famous. One day, when Taake was voyaging in the sea, he saw an eel, which warned him and offered to help him go back, but he struck it with a sword. To be talking fish. A storm brewed. Taake lost his balance due to the huge waves and the strong current. which made him fall in the sea. He sighted the shore under the sea and set foot on it. He then saw a horse carrying his open mouth in an attempt to catch the horse with his carisan, but it ran away. While he was following the horse, Taake has unknowingly reached the kingdom of Kebaklagan. To his surprise, Taake saw a tower which he climbed using the ladder with golden rungs. At the top of the tower, he spotted an almost naked girl, the Lady of Pintawan. She invited him and offered him mamak. Oh no! Who are you? Oh no! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to see you like that. Oh, don't worry. It's okay. Um, do you want some mamak? Um, yeah, sure. Okay, just wait. I'll go get some. They ate it for seven days. Wherein he also courted her, and they got married. Unbeknownst to the couple, two men disliked their romance. They were Towan Salip and Soratan Domatang. The two ordered their men to kill Taake and offered him as a sacrifice. The Lady of Pintogan, who was like a sister to the Lady of Pintawan, told the couple to save themselves by going back to Serangan. Taake refused since he believed he has not done anything wrong and he wanted to face the Datus to explain his presence there. They are going to kill you and Taake. You should both go back to Serangan and save yourselves. But the people of the Baklagan wanted to fight him. He who has left with no choice fought them with natural strength assisted by his supernatural powers as the ake was fighting for his life tomitib dreamed of a lone subanon fighting alone in geboklagan he immediately knew it was the ake he went to geboklagan with two other datus wherein tomitib has quickly engaged into a battle the ake stopped and confronted him for fighting without knowing the cause of the fight first. To meet you, why are you fighting? You don't know what's happening. Sa Ulagya Maola, 
that of Keboklagan and Lady of Pintawan's brother, arrived and witnessed the conflict. He remembered his promise that whoever climbed the ladder of Caris, the ladder with rungs of golden blades, shall marry his sister. He told this to the Datus, but they still wanted to fight. So, he divided the kingdom into two, those who still wanted to fight and those who doesn't. Maola kept on beating the drum, gongs and kolintang. They continued the fight until everyone died and the Sirangan Datus went to other kingdoms to fight further. The happenings prompted the god Asog to go down to the world of sinners, the earth, and ordered the Ake to stop fighting and return to Sirangan. He urged them to hold a buklog where each of them would be given a partner in life. Then Asog used his fan to bring the dead back to life. Having Sirangan, Taake saw his mother dying due to the pain and longing for his son. Oh my son, Taake, I missed you so much. I am going to die. It took one kiss from Taake to make his mother wake up and the whole kingdom of Sirangan came back to life. Everyone held a book log and invited the datus from the different kingdoms to celebrate. <coughs>